hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to control pca 9685 a servo motor driver board with the help of raspberry pi 4 using python but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends if you want to control the robot hand then definitely first you need to control the PCA 9685 servo motor driver board because servo motor driver board it has a 15 channels it means you can connect the 15 servo motors with the help of PCA 9685 a servo motor driver board okay so if you want to control the robotic hand first you need to you need to learn how to control the pca 9685 a servo motor driver board with the help of raspberry pi 4 using python so in this session we are going to see how to control the board the servo motor driver board okay so for that first you need to connect the board the pca 9685 board with raspberry pi 4 so i have here image of our raspberry pi 4 pins so this is what our raspberry pi 4 pins okay so we are going to use here 3 volt 5 volt sda and scl these pins which we are going to use for connecting uh, our pca 9685 board okay so this is what our raspberry pi 4 side and this is what our board which is the pca 9685 or servo motor driver board okay so ground then scl then sda then vcc and then v plus for power in our servo motors okay so v plus we are going to connect with our raspberry pi 4 pin number 2 which is the 5 volt pin okay or also you can connect with the 4 number pin because 4 number pin is also charged with 5 volt okay so v plus connect with the 5 volt okay then vcc connect with the 3 volt which is the pin number 1 okay and then sda connect with the sda so sda is basically pin number 3 as you can see the pin number 3 is gpio2 sda then scl which we want to connect with the raspberry pi 4 gpio3 pin number 5 it is scl pin okay and the ground you can connect with the ground so ground is basically 14 or 6 also okay so simply ground connect with the ground scl connect with the pin number 5 then the SDA connect with the pin number 3 then VCC connect with the pin number 1 and V plus connect with the pin number 2 okay so this is how you need to connect the board with the Raspberry Pi 4 our PCA9685 board with the Raspberry Pi 4 okay I hope you all clear now simply we need here a package okay so I'm going to open a terminal and the package which we want to install the package is this one azure fruit hyphen circuit python hyphen servo kit this is the package which we want to install on our raspberry pi 4 this is the legacy version okay so sudo space pip3 space install space adder fruit hyphen circuit python hyphen servo kit and just hit enter it will install the servo kit adafruit circuit python package on our buster legacy version okay so i have already installed that's why it says requirement is already satisfied that's it so we have done with our uh, wire configuration also we have installed our package now we are ready and we are going to simply control our servo motors with the help of our pca 9685 board okay so friends as you can see we have here two servo motors this is what our pca 9685 servo motor driver board and i have connect these two servo motors with channel number 12 and channel number 2 okay so we are going to control these two servo motors with the help of pca 9685 using raspberry pi 4 with python okay so now simply first we need to uh, open our tony editor then create a new file i have created the file pca9685 servo2.py okay so first we need to import our module so let's say from adafruit from adafruit underscore servo kit we are going to import servo kit so s capital and k capital for kit okay 
from adafruit underscore servo kit import servo kit s capital and k capital okay so if i save the code if i run the code and as you can see there is no error it means we have successfully import our uh, module so then we need here our slip function so from time import slip from time import slip okay now we need to first call our module so we can create here a variable this variable is basically represent our module and the channel of our board so we have here a 16 channel so we need we need to basically mention like this way first we need to mention our module so s capital servo k capital kit okay servo kit and then inside that we need to mention or we need to pass the pins the channels okay so channels is equal to 16 okay channels is equal to 16 okay so this is how we need to create the variable and this variable represent our board okay that's it now simple we have 16 channels okay but how many channels right now we want to use suppose if you want to use only four channels from the board the pca 9684 board so you need to mention the particular channel range okay so let's say servo this is just a variable servo is equal to right now i just want to control your four channel okay so you need to mention here four okay if you want to control all channels simply mention 16 if you want to control only two channels simply mention three if you want to control only zero and one so simply mention two so this is how you need to mention the range of the channels okay so right now we are going to mention here because i have connect the second servo motor with uh, channel number 12 so let's say 14 i want to control here only 14 channels okay simple so now what we want to do we want to create here a while loop and we are going to use the user input for controlling the servo motor then we will get the better idea how basically the servo motor move okay so let's create the while loop while true okay then what we want to do we want to mention our variable so kit kit dot kit dot servo okay kit dot servo then what we want to do here we want to simply mention here inside that we want to mention the channels the particular if you want to control only the particular channel simply you can mention that channel number so right now let's say i want to control here uh, first servo motor which i have connected with the second channel so two okay then dot angle dot angle okay and as i mentioned we are going to use here our user input so let's create a user input so a is equal to our input method okay and then here we are going to mention enter okay and then uh, this is basically integer so we need to mention int and a okay now if i save the code if i run the code as you can see here it says you need to mention the number so let me make like this way this is what our frame okay as i mentioned right now we are only going to control only one motor because i have mentioned the specific channel the second the two number two okay so let's just say servo motor move in the range with 0 to 180 so 180 is the last range okay so if i mention here 180 as you can see this is the servo motor which i have connect with the channel 2 so that's why here only the this one motor will be moved because we mention a particular channel okay so 180 is the last range if i mention 0 it will come here okay so this is the way okay so again i am going to show you now it's here it's here now it will come here if i mention 180 as you can see it's come here if i if i go at the center so let's say 110 as you can see it's now center if i go with 60 it's move if i go at 10 it's here again let's say 90 it's here 
again if i want to go here i just want to mention a last range which is 180 okay so this is how you can control the servo motor with particular channel okay so now this one motor i have connect with the channel number 12 so i just want to mention here a 12 okay so if i save the code if i run the code okay again we need to enter here our initialization number so let's say 180 as you can see now this servo motor is moving 180 90 90 it's here if i mention 10 it's go here again let's say 150 150 it's here the last range which is the 180 okay so if you mention here 185 as you can see there is error what is the error if i go here as you can see let me make like this way angle out of range it means you can only mention 0 to 180 this is the range for servo motor okay simple so now what we are going to do we are going to create here because we mentioned here our servo channels so we want to basically uh, control all the servo at a time okay not like uh, a single channel okay because as you can see i have mentioned here a uh, second channel then if i want to go with uh, uh, another servo motor so i need to mention that particular channel number over here so for that we mention here servo is equal to 14 now what we are going to do we are going to simple create a for loop okay so let's say for for i in okay for i in range and then inside that we need to pass our variable which is the servo because the servo variable is represent the range the channel range it start from zero and it ends at the 14 so we can simply create a for loop and inside that we need to mention our servo variable now it's go like this way and this one comes here okay let me make like this way. okay as you can see we mentioned here our servo variable this servo variable is range for our channels how many channels we want to control so we want to mention that range so right now we are going to control the 14 channels okay then while loop and then we are going to create here a for loop for our servo range so if i print here i then you can see it goes like this way 0 1 2 3 4 okay then now inside this now we don't want to mention a particular channel number we only want to mention i okay simply save the code and now we are going to see with our live cam if i start the code here i need to mention let's say 180 so as you can see it's totally control 0 to 13 channels at a time okay because we have already in 180 angle so if i mention let's say 10 you can see at a time the board servo will move to the range 10 okay so if i go with let's say 14 14 100 same time we can move same time n number of motors means we have here 15 servo motors you can control 15 servo motors at a time with the help of the range and simply you need to mention how many channels you want to control here okay so this is our friends you can control the servo motors with the help of pca 9685 servo motor driver board i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye